Hey guys, what's going on? It's Cynical Lens. Welcome back to another Kingdom Hearts 3 news and information video. Today, Fee Gang is going to be talking about some news and information to do with Kairi and Riku's new clothes for Kingdom Hearts 3, as well as the character models for both young Xehanort as well as Xemnas. Now, this news and information is coming from the Square Enix Osaka Cafe Grand Opening Preview Night, and this information is coming from the lead character designer for Kingdom Hearts 3, and he's known as Mr. Yamasaki. So, let's just jump straight into this. This, this first piece right here is talking about Kairi and Riku's new clothes. You see, Kairi and Riku's new clothes are pretty similar. There's a hood, however, changes are still being made daily. In case you guys don't know, towards the end of last year, Tetsuya Nomura actually released an art to commemorate the third anniversary for Kingdom Hearts Key, and within that art piece, we got a look at Ventus, Ephemera, Scold, Sora, Riku, and Kairi. Now, when looking towards Sora, Riku, and Kairi, we can clearly see that Sora is, of course, wearing his Kingdom Hearts 3 outfit, but uh, Riku and Kairi are actually wearing something completely different. Now, uh, Tezu Nomura actually made a comment towards the end of last year saying that Kairi and Riku's outfits that we see within the third anniversary key art right here are actually extremely similar to the outfits in Kingdom Hearts 3. Nomura also mentioned that the outfits both Riku and Kairi are actually completed, and so as of right now we're just waiting to see another trailer where we actually get to see what their brand new outfits are going to look like. Mr. Yamasaki obviously said that there will be hoods for the outfits of both Kairi and Riku and what we're seeing here in this artwork, we can obviously see both Kairi and Riku wearing outfits with hoods because both outfits right here, or at least Riku's outfit as explained by Tetsuya Nomura, uh, was actually used as a base to create the Kingdom Hearts 3 outfit. Kairi's outfit looks very similar to the way the Kingdom Hearts 2 outfit for Kairi looks, although the difference here being is that she's actually wearing a hood. And also haircuts seem to be the trend going on with like all of the character direction. I don't know why, but it, it just seems to be a thing. And Kairi right here is actually sporting a shorter haircut, kind of similar to the way her hair is within Kingdom Hearts 1. And when looking towards Riku's outfit, it actually looks extremely different to anything that he's actually worn in the past, and similar to Kairi, he's obviously wearing a hood as well. So expect both Kairi and Riku's outfits to look similar to what we're seeing within this artwork. I know for me personally, I'm extremely excited to see what Square Enix are going to come up with in terms of the outfits of both Kairi and Riku. Mr. Yamasaki went on to say Young Xehanort and Xemnas are still under development since their reveal in recent trailers, so adjustments are being made to their faces. Because changes have been made since Kingdom Hearts 2, adjustments such as lengthening the jaw is difficult. So I know back when we got the reveal of the Kingdom Hearts 2017 Orchestra trailer, uh, we obviously got our first look at Kingdom Hearts 3 Xemnas and the way that he's looking within this brand new engine. And then one month later, we got the reveal of the Toy Story trailer, and within that trailer, we got our first look at Young Xehanort within the brand new engine as well. And I know that the community were <laughs> extremely critical uh, towards both of the character models for uh, both the young Xehanort and Xemnas. I know especially when looking towards Xemnas, the community was really really critical towards this. And I mean, at first glance, I was actually extremely impressed, but then like, as I just sat there and, and stared at Next Generation Xemnas, I was kind of like, okay, changes obviously need to be made. And same sort of thing really goes with Young Xehanort as well. Now, the thing to keep in mind here is uh, everything that we've seen within the trailers for Kingdom Hearts 3, all of that footage is still in development footage. And it's clear to see that visual-wise, there's been so many changes that have been made to Kingdom Hearts 3, comparing the footage that we saw back in E3 of 2015 to the footage that we're seeing current days in 2017. So if in case that we do actually see another funky looking character model in the future for like a future Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer, and say that that character model is also looking a little bit funky, don't stress out about it too much because we know that Square Enix are working on Kingdom Hearts 3 on the daily, and they're constantly applying touch-ups to the character models and all of that. But it's good to know that Square Enix are actually acknowledging the fact that, yes, of course, like, some of these character models are looking a little bit funky. So I'm hoping to see in a future trailer, if we do, of course, see Xemnas reappear, it's going to be interesting to see the different changes that have, of course, been made. But anyway, guys, that's all the news and information today. Uh, as of right now, news and information for Kingdom Hearts 3 is kind of on the down low, and I'm really surprised that we even got these little tidbits of information recently from the Square Enix Osaka Cafe opening night. It was a nice little surprise, but I honestly think that news is going to be on the down low for quite some time up until the next big event happens. I think the safest bet at this point is most likely D23 Japan happening in February of next year. Okay, guys, leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below, and until next time, guys, I'll catch you later. Peace.